A multi-million dollar turnaround maybe for a troubled motel and neighborhood. It's up for debate this week and discussion. All centers around the Las Vegas Trail community in West Fort Worth. Our Jason Allen shares that a proposal on the table right now definitely has the attention of Fort Worth City Council and Tarrant County Commissioners. In a neighborhood that has struggled with crime, drugs and homelessness, this hotel under a number of different names was often right in the middle of the mess. Yeah, let's be clear, that motel was not serving the community well at all. It had been the hotbed of a lot of issues. A plan is coming together though this week for Tarrant County and Fort Worth to buy the problem property and renovate it into more than 50 apartments. Low-income families, domestic violence victims and homeless will have a place to live. And the neighborhood of more than 14,000 people takes another step toward transforming. This project is a way to revitalize the era, really put some skin in the game and say, you know what, we're not just going to stand around and watch this degrade. We're going to do something about it and turn it around. There's a model for this in Fort Worth. The city turned around another motel two years ago. Casa de Esperanza is more than 100 units for residents who are homeless and disabled. And it has been a great uh, part of that revitalization in that area. Um, a little bit different than what we're doing here, but we know that this model works. Tarrant County is set to commit $8 million to the project. Fort Worth is in for another $2 million, and private donations are expected to pay for the rest. No, it's the revitalization, so, you know, it's, it's kind of a weed and seed model. You know, you're, you're weeding out the bad elements and you're seeding the good. There is also the hope that this can maybe spur some more commercial development in this area. It's right along I-30. It's got great visibility, Doug and Nicole, but not a lot of businesses when you compare it to all the people who live here. Well, let's talk money for a second, because at the end of the day, everything costs money. And we know the county is expected to commit a pretty big portion of the money for something like this. Tomorrow, how long is the turnaround expected to take? What are they thinking? Uh, it's going to be another month or so until the city can officially vote on, on their part in this project. But then things could start to move pretty quickly. That Casa de Esperanza we told you about, the city had turned that around in a couple of months when they opened that back in uh, 2020. This one's going to take a little bit more work, but you could start seeing some residents, Doug, move in here as soon as April of next year. Okay, we'll stay on top of what unfolds this week. Jason, thank you very much.